burning! The river is burning! I think I've done that before. Hey, it's Brain Ruffin back with another beer review you can use. How about mix and match my metaphors? So up today we have Burning River Pale Ale from Great Lakes, that nice brewery on the other side of 71. All the way up there in Cleveland, Ohio. So, a uh, toast to the hot Cuyahoga River Fire. That was back in the 70s, I do believe. Uh, for sparking both a new era of environmentalism and this bravely hoppy pale ale. Brazenly hoppy pale ale. Sometimes one wrong makes two very rights. Right. Very right rights. <laughs> Can't even read today. I need new glasses. That's the problem. I'm just too lazy to go to the doctor. And, uh... I'm suffering the consequences, getting headaches and everything else. Eventually, I'm going to, you know, run out of excuses. Oh, look at that nice golden color. Kind of a deep golden. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice pour, finally. Oh, yep. Look at that. Look at that. And the founders, it's a founder's glass, but don't hold it against it. So, uh, look at that. Wow. Nice golden color. Beautiful head. Nice malty nose. So let's try the foam, try the foam. Yep, it's a nice malt. Mmm. Right, you got, you got some hops, a little pine kind of dancing around, a little bit of hop bitterness in the back end, a little bit of malt kind of. This is, I think it's like, like 3%, if I remember correctly. Does it say an untapped? I don't know. But, um, best enjoyed by 720, 2017. Well, good thing it's not quite that late. But, uh, yeah, I don't see an ABV on here, but it feels like it's pretty light. There we go, 6%. Tice, sit corrected, 6%. But at 45 IBUs, that's not bad. But, um, yeah, it was a nice mixture of hops. Nice gold nail coloring, very clear, relatively clear. Mmm. Still a little on the cold side. That'll that'll warm up nicely. I mean, this is a great all-around beer to have with about anything that you're eating. Um, you could probably do steak and fish with this. Uh, you can even probably do things fancy in, in sauces and all kinds of things like spaghetti and all that other stuff. But um, since it's got a nice mellow flavor, it's going to balance well with just about anything and kind of cleanse the palate. Leave a little flavor behind, but not a lot, so then it's going to kind of enhance what you're eating. It's not going to overpower it, that's for sure. But uh, man, oh man, that's good. That's a nice general ale, though. Very good. Uh, so it would be another good one that if you want to try and get a friend of yours off of crappy beers, this may be a good one. It's a little bit closer in color to what they're probably used to, unless they're used drinking Bud Light or something. But if they're used to drinking real beer, or realish beer, the color's not going to scare them to death. Uh, there's a little bit of hot bitterness there, but not much. The malt sweetness is just enough, but not too much. It's got a good blend, a good balance. It's a good stepping off beer onto, into better things. So, I don't know, you do this, maybe do the Elliott Ness if they like lagers. Lagers tend to be a little cleaner than ales, so sometimes lagers are a bit better, and then maybe do, do the Elliott Ness and then do this one. I mean, obviously this is a, a Great Lakes a lineup here, but hey. That's a good one. But uh, hey, let me know what you think with Burning River Pale Ale. Have you had it? Not had it? Wondering if you should have it? I tell you what, around here in Cincinnati, they, Great Lakes does have some seasonal packs. We'll have this. They'll have Elliott Ness. Some of them have their Porter, which is also very good. You have, I think that's the Fitzgerald Porter, if I remember correctly. Um, so those are nice packs. Usually have about 12. They're 12 bottles but usually four different beers three of each uh, so it's a good combination and you get kind of a good cross section of what great lakes has to offer all right thanks for clicking like and i got gnats in here for some reason thanks for subscribing thanks for the suggestions we're going to get to your beer reviews very very soon We've got more beer reviews coming up in a couple weeks I'm getting into july we're going to through a whole mess of them i'm trying to have a hundred by the end of the year that's a hundred total 
but I may try to do 100 for the year because I had a bunch of those, several of those beer reviews, especially my Mount Carmel. It goes back like four years, so maybe I shouldn't count those. I don't know. But please watch the videos, share them everywhere you can, and get your friends watching, and let me know what you like, what you don't like, and let's see what kind of beers we can have and enjoy together and comment. All right, thanks very much. Bye. Ahem. <coughs> <coughs>